Here I show you how to use macros to quickly and easily replace appearances. If you find it helpful, I will be happy to have earned your like and follow at the end of the video. You use macros to change the fade time of certain sequences, for example. You have two appearances per fade time, one active and one inactive, nicely separated by color to see which one is currently set. But your Marco lines to exchange the appearances look like this? Let me show you how to do it much easier and faster. We have one appearance per fade time with its own image. Naming is important here because we work with asterisks. My names always start with fade and are followed by the time, that is, fade 01. This means that we can address all our fade appearances with appearance fade asterisk. We also have two further appearances, one for coloring the active appearances and one for the deactive ones. In my case, classic red and green. We have already prepared the macros and these change the fade time, in my case the fade time of the off cue. Now the appearances are assigned to the macros. If the order is identical, this can be done very quickly. For a better view, you can see the macros in the layout viewer here. Now, when activating a fade time, it should appear in green, the others all in red. First, everything in red. To do this, we go to the first macro and insert a second line. If a hashtag and the square brackets are placed around an object, a reference is defined for it in the commands. This means that there is no need to adjust the object when changing its name or moving it. The property color is used to ensure that only the color of the source appearance is applied. When activating the macro that has just been adjusted, all fade macros are now colored red. This line is now copied to all macros. This can also be done simply with the following command. Now we assign the active color. For this, we edit the first macro again and insert it. We also copy this line into each macro but have to adjust it manually everywhere. That's it. And if we add another fade time, we don't have to edit every single macro. If you have any little tips that help you with programming, let us know in the comments. Always happy show.